When considering some of the most influential, or dare I say iconic watches of the mid 20th century, we usually have a short list that we will naturally default to mentioning. But just beyond that centralized focus are watches that have made resounding contributions to the world of watchmaking that perhaps don't get their kudos. One of those watches that fits that description has to be the recently revived Vulcan Cricket, a mechanical alarm watch with intriguing presidential heritage, a manufacturer movement, and a faithful yet beautiful design, all while undercutting the price of essentially any other mechanical alarm watch on the market in 2023. Let's jump in. Now, if you've been into watches, you've probably heard the term jewels before or seen it on a spec sheet for a watch you're looking to buy. Most people assume jewels are going to be just for a superficial aspect of a watch and making something look more pretty, but that could not be farther from the truth as they are crucial for smooth operation of a watch's timekeeping. If you're unsure about what watch jewels do, well, you're in luck. We have a full article down below, it will be in the description, that goes through everything that you need to know about watch jewels, debunking some of the myths, going through the history, and why they're so important and crucial when it comes to watches timekeeping. Check out the article down below, one of my favorite articles that we've produced as of late, and I think you'll enjoy it as well if you're curious about this topic. So I always enjoy covering a watch that I both personally enjoy while bringing kind of something different and refreshing from a product positioning standpoint. And when analyzing the Volcane Cricket, you're getting a pretty much complete package on that front with an important history to go along with it. Among the rapidly growing brand revival sector of the past decade, there are a few that can match the success and magical touch of a young Frenchman named Guillaume Lede. With a marketing background at storied watchmaking houses like JLC, Zenith, and Gerard Perigo, Lede ventured out on his own a few years back, successfully bringing Nevada Grenchen and Excelsior Park back from the dead in the last few years, as harsh as that might sound. Two brands that I have covered on this channel and I greatly enjoy. Now, following that success, Lede was asked to assist as a consultant at Volcane, a brand with its own rich history, trademark complication, and unique American political associations. Founded way back in 1858 in Switzerland, Volcane's single biggest contribution to the horological world is the mechanical alarm wristwatch. In the 1900s, brands began experimenting with audible alarm calibers and wristwatches. However, at the time, none were really able to catch on given the engineering challenges of making them reliable and cost-effective at scale. Though that all changed in 1947 when Volcane released their Cricket, making it the first fully functional alarm wristwatch to be produced on a wide scale level. There's probably a little secret to where this watch gets its name. It was named for its distinctive vibrating chiming tone, and the Cricket was an instant success in many ways, even making its way onto the wrists of US presidents. A Cricket was first gifted to Harry Truman in 1953 by the White House Press Photographers Association, with the small joke being engraved on the case back reading one more please, referring to the commonly yelled statement at press events with the hope of snapping one more photo of the president. But unlike most presidential gifts that more than likely only collect dust, Truman actually wore the piece, establishing a new tradition in the process. The association of gifting cricket watches to presidents continued down the line with Eisenhower, Johnson, Nixon, and beyond. Lyndon B. Johnson specifically had extreme fondness for the cricket. So much so, it is rumored that he would often default to giving it as a gift to many people, gifting approximately 200 over the years. However, despite its notable wearers, Volcane had trouble navigating the tumultuous time that came in the 1970s with the quartz crisis that plagued most mechanical watch brands of the era, leading the brand to be relatively dormant in activity until the 21st century, where the brand changed hands in ownership. Now under its latest ownership from a Luxembourg investment firm, the brand is poised to gain appreciation among a new generation of collectors. And for the purposes of this video, we are going to be looking at two different Cricut watches. Both of them are going to be for that tradition collection. So this is kind of the modern model that stays closest to the original Cricut form of the 1940s. And then we also are going to have two different variations, 136, 139 in that format. So while this modernized Cricut brings a lot to the table, I would say the most impressive feature on display is the presence of a manufacturer movement with its unique chiming alarm complication and a watch that falls in a price range similar to that of a Tudor Black Bay on a bracelet. 
This caliber is known as the V10, a faithful yet improved reinterpretation of the caliber 120 movements utilized in the original cricket watches of 1947, containing the two barrel system, which aided in the viability of producing these watches reliably at scale. Given the energy required by a mechanical alarm, the setup enables the alarm to have an isolated source of power separate from the other mainspring used for traditional timekeeping. Winding is still carried out with a single crown with a clockwise rotation powering the alarm and counterclockwise winding powering the timekeeping functions, which is a pretty cool feature to see in action on the exhibition case back where an affix plate helps the crown wheel isolate individual contact with each ratchet wheel depending on the crown rotation. Compared to the original caliber, the balance has been reworked to optimize amplitude with a patented system known as Xactomatic. Shock resistance has been increased and extensive 3D modeling of the original architecture was used to refine the caliber for increased production. But the basic structure is very much the same as it was in the 1940s, all the way down to the 18,000 vibrations per hour or 2.5 hertz frequency that adds some vintage charm in the process. What perhaps makes this even more interesting again though is this bespoke movement only being utilized by Volcane, with the now owners buying the rights to the movements with their more recent acquisition. So how this all works and how you set the alarm, you simply press the pusher at the two o'clock position fully down, which then extends the crown to the farthest position. By rotating that crown clockwise at that position, you then can adjust the alarm hand to the appropriate time. Once the general timekeeping hands reach the specified time of the alarm indication, the alarm will chime for around 20 seconds if it's fully wound. This alarm can be easily felt and heard and could even do the job of waking you up if you had it on your nightstand next to your bed in the morning. As a note, it is much louder on the closed case back version, helping the sound reverberate more effectively within a contained steel package. I'll take a moment here just to let you listen to both of them. Although more industrial in its movement finish, it is still well done with blued screws, polished edges on some of the bridges, and directional graining to add some visual intrigue. And when testing accuracy across five positions, we tested both of these different variations that we have here. The 36 millimeter version had time between plus four to plus 12, and then the 39 at plus five to plus 10 seconds a day. Turning the cricket back around, we have a prominently domed box section sapphire crystal with relatively effective anti-reflective coating, keeping watch over the heritage and dial layout lying just beneath. As we dig into the dial, it's important to note, again, besides the two case sizes, there are also several dial variations within the relaunch Cricut collection. Both of the examples here fall within the Cricut tradition line, which leans heavily into the refined angle of these watches. But there's also the classic version or classic version with a sector style dial and Arabic printed indices to consider. In either color, the tradition has a distinctive printed scale that divides the hours into 10 minute segments to make alarm setting easier and more precise. Just within are applied and polished indices with Arabic numerals representing the even hours, while smaller triangles take on the duty for the odd number hours. Dial text is also about as low key as you'll find with only the brand wordmark and vintage feeling cricket at 12. The handset is a narrow take on the Dauphine genre with the additional alarm hand offering a tiny arrow at its tip, making legibility slightly a concern depending on what dial you go for as the larger variant of the pairing here is going to have all of their hands in matching color. As mentioned, the Revive Cricket is being offered in two different sizes, 36 millimeters that stays closer to the original watch's 34 millimeter diameter, as well as the larger 39 millimeter for those with larger wrists or simply just wanting a watch with more presence. The 36 offers a reasonable height of 12.8 millimeters, especially considering how domed the profile of this crystal is in a restrained 44 and a half millimeter lug to lug metric, wearing true to that size. The proportions on the 39 are relatively the same with a 13.1 millimeter thickness and a 48 eight millimeter lug to lug. In either case, whether you are part of the smaller is always better crowd or you want something that's more contemporary in the sizing approach to an elegant design, the likelihood is you're going to be in a good spot to find a good fit. Set between 18 millimeter lugs on the smaller Cricut or 20 millimeter lugs on the full size version, the washes lean into alligator textured leather that is color complemented to each dial shade while being equipped with simple sign buckles offering the Volcane logo. But as a buyer, you have many 
many different strap versions to choose from. The Crown at three is very much vintage in its design and foregoes a signature of any kind while working in tandem with the pusher at two and the screw down case back and enabling this model family's adequate 50 meters of water resistance. Finishing on these watches is straightforward, polished on pretty much every single area that you can see when on wrist. And based on looks, these watches feel as if you struck gold of finding a new old stock piece that was in an uninterrupted slumber for decades in the safety of some desk drawer in grandpa's house, instead of a modern watch trying to cosplay as something that it's not. So now to unpack looking at these Volcane Crickets. And this is a watch that, you know, covering a watch like this, here's the deal. I know this is gonna be my most viewed video, but that's okay with it because I thought these were absolutely phenomenal when I first saw them and I thought they were different and very similar to when I was talking about that Christopher Ward Bel Canto. A lot of the same themes are here in terms of where this sits in the market, something that's different, there's not really a true peer. And I really love the work that Guillaume is doing in terms of some of the other brands that he's working with and Volcane, unlike those other brands, have a pretty remarkable history. When you're talking about the cricket, it is, it's a kind of an icon in many ways. I mean, there's not really, when I think of a mechanical alarm watch, I think of the Memovox and I think of the Cricket. So they're at a really good starting point. Just to unpack some of the pros and cons here, I think first, depending on the dial color, legibility might be a concern for some people out there. Also, the alarm can't be toggled off in a way that you might find with some other watches out there. It's not the most refined in its operation, and you basically have a few different options. Uh, you can just choose not to wind the barrel for the alarm and you won't have to deal with it. Uh, you, of course, can always stop the alarm at any given time if it starts going with just pressing the button. Or you could just periodically just change the alarm hand to go off at a different time. Not the most convenient, but that is one thing to bring up. And then it is still a good chunk of change. But that's where I bring in the other side of the argument here. Now, if you're somebody saying that this is just crazy money you're talking about, which is this is a lot of money for a watch, but relatively speaking, if you look at what maybe you're getting for some other watches out there in a similar price range, a lot of cases you're getting off the shelf Solita or Eta Movements to begin with, here you're getting a proprietary movement that is an, has alarm function. Could you name another alarm watch in a similar price range to this? The Tudor Advisor is no longer in production. You could maybe mention that, but other than that, I mean, you're gonna be hard pressed to find anything. The Memovox, you're gonna be spending five figures to be getting into something from the contemporary catalog. And as much as you wanna bring up the Advisor, I think we can all agree that this is a little bit more tastefully done, the Advisor. I love Tudor, but that's not the best looking watch that they've ever created. And I think the last thing I'll mention here is it's just kind of authentic. I just put this on and like I said a moment ago, it feels like you found like this new old stock example. It doesn't feel forced. They did a really good job of preserving the original essence of what the cricket was all about. And I thought this was pretty special. I like covering watches like this. This is an interesting piece to me. This like champagne pink color. I mean, this thing is a knockout. This is a beautiful looking watch. And if you want something different, if you want an alarm watch, now do we need an alarm watch nowadays? Absolutely not. But if you are somebody that wants something different and are looking for a brand with some pretty cool heritage, some backstory, you want something that also maybe could be very short period of time, be the talk of the town and talk of the room. If you ever did want to have your alarm go off and we'll be like, what is that? You could be that guy, you could be that girl and have a watch like this. And I think it's a pretty cool statement to make as a collector, uh, even if you have a very, very full collection. A mechanical alarm watch is not something you come across all the time. So to find it something like this done in an authentic way, I think it's a pretty interesting package. All right, guys, that's my take looking at this new Volcane Cricket. What do you think of these watches? Do you like them? Do you not like them? This is, again, a video that I know probably won't get as many views, but I think these are pretty sweet watches, and I think, uh, you know, not enough people talk about these, and I haven't really seen many people talk about these uh, yet. So I uh, wanted to give them a little bit of a spotlight because I think you know, Guillaume is doing something really cool here. Volcane is doing something really cool here uh, with these pieces. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. That'd be a great indicator for me that you want to see more watches like this covered on the channel. I know you guys like to see the stuff that everybody talks about, but if you want to see more of this, any positive encouragement, really would appreciate it because that will uh, you know, just make me prioritize this even more. Also, definitely check out teddybaldeser.com, full author dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. How we're able to just shoot all of these videos, how we're able to produce all of them is through selling watches on our site. We don't have the brands pay us for the videos that we're creating. We fund all of this ourselves. So if you are in the market for a watch, we would love to have your business. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.